Hey everyone, Mr. Spicy here, and we are in my kitchen, which is totally abnormal for the channel. But hey, I asked you for questions recently and said if they weren't too personal, I would answer them along with some new spicy stuff. And that's what we're doing today. I've got my new hot sauce uh, challenge book of pleasure and pain comes from the same group that makes the spontaneous combustion popcorn, which is fitting because challenge number 12 bottle is spontaneous combustion. Same as the spontaneous combustion popcorn I've already done. So let's answer some questions and try some hot sauce. Oh, and this camera is already giving me fits, saying my card is too slow, and yet it's the same card that came from my drone recording 4K. So maybe a problem with the camera. It's not a good sign. But I've got my uh, crackers, and I've already got these all opened up, ready to go, because they've got those little weird plastic, you know, wraparounds that sometimes doesn't want to tear right. So we're going to start with the first one, which is the bacon hot sauce. Bacon! Everybody likes bacon. So I'm just gonna go real quick through these. Uh, Matthew Roden, how old are you? Um, I don't know how old you are, but I, as I usually say, I'm in my, you know, late 30s. Uh, I'm actually 38. Yes, I am 38 uh, years of earthly age. Uh, I'm not sure what that counts on Venus or Mars, but uh, hmm, I am 38 and here we go. The uh, bacon hot sauce to you, Matthew. Okay, definitely a bacon flavor, but uh, tastes more like like a bacon barbecue sauce than anything else. Chili lime, bottle number two. Matthew Roden has a second question. Do you believe Subnautica PS4 will ever get mod support from the devs? So. Uh, short answer, no. Why? Because the game does not officially support mods. The devs do not support mods. Those are courtesy of our, uh, you know, creative modders, Prime Sonic, Field Creator Studios, others of that sort. They are separate from the company. They just create the mods. And as far as console, and well, even the Microsoft version of Subnautica, it's more restricted. So unless the devs actually add support for mods, like incorporate QMod Manager into the game itself, you're not gonna see that on console. So sorry, Matthew, but uh, here's some chili lime to you. I swear, I'm already about to throw this camera out the door. That's, that's twice now, it's already cut off saying the car is too slow. Number three, the one probably everybody's gonna care about, Sriracha sauce, the Sriracha hot sauce. Uh, so I'm interested to see how this one tastes. I expect a not exact sriracha flavor, unless they really did use sriracha in it. It was very, very thick, very red. All right, uh, Charlie Hind, uh, Hind, not sure which way you want to say it, but do you ever get bored of Subnautica? Absolutely. That's why I mod it now. If it wasn't for modding, I would not be playing Subnautica. It's... I don't think I could go back to playing Subnautica now. It'd be too boring. And uh, yeah, it's like a big contrast going from modded Subnautica to unmodded below zero on the weekends when I stream anyway. I could not go back to regular playing vanilla Subnautica now. No, it'd be too boring. I would be absolutely bored with it. But there you go, Sriracha uh, to Charlie. I feel bad. It's not sriracha. Definitely don't taste the sriracha. All right, here we go. The next question comes to us from Sub to Mr. Spicy Gaming, aka Xbox, and you're getting the Cajun. Cajun hot sauce. Oh, with habanero pepper. So now, you know, I would assume this is where the heat's supposed to start kicking up. Uh, no, I'm going to switch to a different cracker. I'll do a different one. Do more of a wheat type one. Yeah. Okay, that spot says, do you play with Legos? Not since I was a kid. And if I did it again, it wouldn't be playing. It would be doing like models. I could get a Death Star, Millennium Falcon, something like that. Build it, put it on display. That's it. I wouldn't like play with Legos because, I mean, if I want to do that, I can play a game. Not, not Lego game, but I could do Minecraft, Subnautica. That's, that's my version of Legos now as I 
build in games because you know the the resets a lot easier. But there you go, Xbox uh, Cajun seasoning. I'm gonna say this one has more of a yeah, a little bit more of a vinegar taste to it. Not really Cajun. To, to my taste, it, it's more, it's definitely got more of a vinegar taste to it than the others. Number five is the original, the, the main one. Xbox also asked, do you plan to eventually give a giveaway? I guess, I mean, do a giveaway uh, or give away something in a giveaway. Yes. Uh, I, I plan to do it eventually. But I want to make sure it fits right. I don't want it to be a case of like so many channels where they do giveaways just to try and grow their subscribers quickly, thinking it's going to help them because it's going to be a case of get all these subscribers and then they don't watch. They just disappear afterwards. I subscribed. I didn't win. Well, that's all I care about. So if I do a giveaway, I want to do it where it ties into something that matters with the channel. Um, Say, for example, and if anybody is listening, maybe the devs decide for below zero for release. They're like, hey, we want to do a giveaway with you, Mr. Spicy, for some copies of below zero. And I would say, sure. How many do you want to give away? I'll pay for just as many. You know, if they say we'll give away 10, I was like, all right, I'll give away 10 and do something like that because it matters and ties in with the channel. But I'm not going to sit there and say, hey, I'm giving away five copies of Subnautica just to say, go subscribe and you might win. So, no, I'm not going to do one like just at random. It's going to be a very meaningful giveaway. But yes, eventually I will do some kind of giveaway at Spots. Also, Habanero Pepper. Oh, and Crushed Serrano Pepper. Okay, that's a different one in there. Honestly, that's like one of the tamer ones so far. I don't know why that's number five. That actually has less than a couple of the previous ones in it as far as kick. Wasabi! Next one, wasabi. And fittingly, our next question is from Emerald Dragon. So green wasabi, emerald, you know, green. So uh, Emerald Dragon, if it's not too personal, at what age did you move out? Uh, kind of curious. So I'm assuming Emerald, you're, you're curious about moving out yourself or maybe your parents are trying to get you out of the house. Uh, I, you know, after graduating high school, I, I went to college. Every college I went to, I lived either on or near campus. So in one way, I moved out when I was 18, as soon as I, you know, was done and going to college. But after graduating, the economy was kind of going downhill. It was right before the 2008 economic crisis. And I ended up moving back in my parents for a while until I got a better job because I didn't get a very good job right out of college. And once I had enough money and I could justify it, I moved out again. And I've been out on my own since. But don't. If you're feeling pressure, don't, because there's plenty of stories now of people in their 30s and 40s moving back in with their parents, you know, because of financial issues. So it, it really depends on what you're doing. But for me, it was, a, you know, come back for a little while after college, mainly because of cost. But then once I had a good enough job, I could afford everything I needed. I was gone. All right. That's three times now that thing is cut off on me. And yeah, wasabi, like I don't even taste the wasabi in it. Next one, roasted garlic. And uh, this goes to Orcanus, Orcanus, Orcanus. What's your favorite color from one to 10 alphabetical order that you like most? <clears throat> one square, two triangle, three circle. Uh, for your garlic, roasted garlic hot sauce, answer is 42. I definitely get the garlic, but that's it. There, there's not much to it. All right, so this one, habanero hot sauce from hell. Uh, beyond hot, world's hottest hot sauce. I can tell you that's not true because there's more past this one. If it was the hottest, it would be the last one. Habanero, 
that's really the pepper it says. Caution, extremely hot. Oh, scrambled eggs from hell. Good, nah, that's the recipe. Saqib Ansari, Saqib Ansari. Uh, question for you, which specs PC do you use at the start of your YouTube channel versus PC now specs? Uh, they're actually on the about page. And since this is really gonna be a longer answer, I'm gonna do two sauces with this. But uh, it's pretty much the same. Uh, sixth generation i7, i7-6700. I started with a 970 and upgraded to a 1080 graphics card, but the same 32 gigs of RAM, 480 gigs solid state, which is my operating system and my games. And I originally had a two terabyte and a one terabyte pair of mechanical drives that were used. They came from one of my old servers. And I've since replaced them with new one terabyte mechanicals. Mechanical because Solid states have a certain number of write cycles and you can burn through those recording to them uh, unless you go with really high end ones. So I have two mechanicals to compensate for that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Almost lost. I almost lost it there and dropped it. Wow. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, the not the specs on the PC. But uh, I started with a Logitech C920 camera, I think it was. And uh, I was recording everything in one file, like gameplay with my face cam over it with just a cheap, cheap microphone. And uh, the problem I ran to there was you can't manipulate your video for face video. So now I use the two mechanical drives I record with one OBS session, the gameplay to OneDrive, and then a second OBS session, the game, uh, the face cam, which is now a Sony A5100 going through a Camlink 4K. That second OBS session is recording to a second drive. So I'm actually writing to two, so I don't use up all the write cycles, basically. And that lets me have a lot more control in the end, so I can resize the camera footage, I can, you know, cut things out. It gives me more control in the editing part, and I like that. That's not hot, but I'm starting to feel like, like almost like hiccups starting. So this one, uh, a couple more things I'll say on that one. This is the habanero hot sauce from hell, Devil's Revenge, Beyond Hell, World's Hottest Hot Sauce. Oh, made with one million Scoville capsicum extract. Which really says that on the back. We can see it without the glare. Uh, that, yeah. So this is where, if that's true, then this is where we start getting into some heat. Uh, all right. Uh, so yeah, I've covered my specs, cameras. <clears throat> oh, what else? Hmm. I think that's pretty much it. Now, Keeb, if you got more questions, you know, comment on this video. I'll try to be a little bit more specific, but yeah, that's pretty much it. My specs really haven't changed other than I swapped my two mechanicals out for newer ones, and I upgrade from a 970 to a 1080, which instead of upgrading now, mainly because of scarcity of graphics cards, I'm more looking to just building a new system instead, but because of the games I play, for the most part, I really haven't needed to do any serious upgrades to it right now. That's, again, that camera just cut off on me. And I'm gonna say that's the first one I'm really actually feeling the burn from. So, Devil's Revenge, definitely got some burn from that. Now, Ghost Pepper. This is the Ghost Pepper one, number 10 out of 12. Actually says May with the boot, uh, boot? Jalokia, which is ghost pepper. Uh, yeah, that, and that's it. That's the only, that's the only pepper in this is the ghost pepper. Oh, and this is the first one that's not like a straight red color. Got like a more off color to it. So now, Lee23, first question. How have you been? Well, I've been fine, Lee. How are you? Working on mods I trust, that's what you're doing. I'm just, you know, doing videos and trying to eat some hot sauces. Uh, 
a little bit on my lip there. I feel it, but mainly the tip of my tongue is on fire now. Yeah, definitely now at the point I'm feeling these. I'm just gonna let it speak for itself. Also, uh, I don't wanna get demonetized. I will link this below if you wanna check this out. Uh, habanero, and it says here again, one million Scoville capsicum extract. We're down to the last two. And this is another one that's very like light colored in comparison. Yeah, uh, I'm still feeling my tongue burning from the ghost pepper, so this one. Have you heard of the upcoming creature mods? Yes, I have. And uh, I'm assuming you mean the gargantuan leviathan mod, which numerous people have commented about it. I've looked, I've watched the videos for it. And, you know, the creator even says on one of his videos, it's not ready for public use yet. It's not ready. It's still being developed. So whenever it's ready, I'll try it out. Wow. All over my lip. All over my lip. Yeah, now my lip is like burning from that. That's definitely, <clears throat> definitely a hot one right there from the set definitely not one that i would be eating all the time and now last one spontaneous combustion as my lips on fire already and that's the last of the questions i really had hoped we might get some more so you know if you like this kind of video you want to do more like this let me know and considering i work out the problems with the camera I just get it replaced at this point, I'm close to that already. Uh, yeah, we'll do some more videos like this. Maybe, you know, more questions or maybe just hanging out, eating some hot stuff. But spontaneous combustion. And again, this is the uh, book of pleasure and pain. I'll have a link below if you want to check it out. But thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for watching the videos and thanks for watching me suffer right now. Oh yeah, proudly made with 1 million Scoville extract right there. So cheers, thank you. And uh, yeah, I might grab me a drink of water now. <laughs>